Let's start by reviewing some basic concepts of microscopy and the types of cells and microorganisms that can be visualized using a microscope. The goal of microscopy is to create an enlarged, clear image of objects too small to be seen without magnification. A bright field microscope, typically used in a general biology lab, enables viewing of both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. For example, you can use a microscope to look at tissues of the human body, plant cells, fungal structures, and even unicellular microorganisms. The greater magnification and resolution provided by an electron microscope is required to view viruses in large molecules. In this section, let's learn about the parts of a typical bright field microscope and their functions. Once you have mastered these concepts, you will learn how to correctly operate the parts of the microscope to view a slide. This is a bright field microscope. The microscope is used to create a magnified image of a specimen. The specimen is mounted on a microscope slide, and the stage clip is used to hold the microscope slide in place. The distance between the ocular lenses can be adjusted to fit the space between your eyes. The light level can be adjusted by turning the knob at the base of the microscope. After adjusting the light level and the ocular lenses, you can adjust the field of view. Focus is achieved by adjusting the distance between the specimen and the objective lens. The focus knob controls the up and downward movement of the microscope stage. The coarse focus ring is used to locate the focus plane. The fine adjustment knob located in the center is used to fine tune the focus. The stage adjustment knobs are used to navigate in the sample. The upper knob moves the stage back and forth. The lower knob moves the stage right and left. By using these knobs, you can locate a specific region of interest. When you have identified a region of interest, you can increase the magnification to study that region in detail. Higher magnification is achieved by changing the objective lens. When changing the objective lens, it may be necessary to readjust the focus. The 100 times lens is an oil objective. A drop of immersion oil should be applied between the lens and the microscope slide. The 100 times lens and the microscope slide should be cleaned when changing back to the other objectives. <laughs> 